I buy some gigabyte if a gigabyte could buy gigas. Yeah. <laughs> Are we being recorded again? Yes. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Welcome to my TCG game show hosted by yours truly, Eon. Yay! <laughs> Here is our first person, Ether. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. And then there's Mr. Muff. Hi. Sure. Welcome to my sure. diabolical game show. <laughs> Here are the categories. Who's that Pokemon? What he doing? Attack name. Name that price. And Pokedex. And without any preference at all, we'll have Aether choose the first. <laughs> the first uh, category. I feel uh, biased. <laughs> what he doing? Which number? Uh, for one. For one. Hi, <laughs> Roland. What are you doing? Snapping a tree in half. Okay. Well, do I go? Yeah. Um, picking mushrooms. Does that look like a mushroom to you? What kind uh, of mushrooms do you do? I'll give the point to Aether because he's breaking a tree. Well, I can't just pick tree. It was this one. Yeah, you can. You can say he's he's uh he's chopping he's chopping firewood with his. Sounds like he's chopping anything. Hands? What kind of hands does he have? Perfect. Okay! Since uh, Aether got the point correct, he gets to choose again. Wait, I get- Oh! Huh? I can steamroll <laughs> this thing. It was at this moment that he knew. He up. <laughs> You'll never have a chance to play. <laughs> get stunlocked by, by me going for one point over and over again. Name that price for one. Send it. Which one's more expensive? Uh, Suicune Legend Heads or Suicune Legends Feet? You know, I would love to say the <laughs> butt, but chances are because the heads are probably the actual thing with the Pokemon on it, I'm gonna say the top half. Okay, do you have any price point guess? Oh, that's right, I gotta get a price. That's extra points. Uh, I'm saying the head's worth 50 and the butt's worth like 35. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Muff, do you have any price point guesses or any guesses in general? Um. I actually think that the bottom half is going to be more expensive <laughs> because I think it's more likely that people cared about the top half and then they were like, oh, I don't care, it's just Entei's butt. And so they've just like lost it or whatnot, and so I feel like there's more of the left one still in existence. Got a point. Yeah, so I think the butt's more expensive. <laughs> okay. I mean, the Entei's face would probably devalue the top half, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say... Uh, 55 for the butt, 40 for the heads. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, the heads <laughs> are 65 bucks. I was the heads. The heads <laughs> are like 49. So, you get the point for getting the answer correct. So, that is one point to you. Wait, do I get to keep the stun lock? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, honestly, I think you should probably get like half a point for getting the butt. Okay. Yeah. Well, as a kid, would you have taken care of the butt? <laughs> if the butt was all I had. <laughs> True. Show off your collection. Hey, look at this. I have Entei's butt. Okay. I do not feel confident in Pokédex. We're going to avoid that category like the go, go to attack name for one. Okay. Tapu, uh, Tapu Coco GX. <laughs> really? <laughs> what made you think that? I own that card. It's played in Tapu Bulu decks. Any, any guesses from Mr. Muffin? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not like supposed to guess the exact same thing, right? I mean, you, you could guess if you the wanted, shiny but... Tapu Coco GX. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's guess shiny Tapu Coco <laughs> GX. I don't even know if that's a card, yeah. but yeah. it is. It is. We own one. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, he was close. It was the promo. Don Lock. Don Lock. This is not gonna last for very long. No, it's not. It gets way harder. If only someone would pick something other than give me points. <laughs> <laughs> Fine! I'm no coward! <laughs> Who's that Pokemon for six? <laughs> Send it! This is my favorite Just one. Unlocked. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, wait, oh wait, goodness. wait, wait. It's a crystal or it's a box topper. <laughs> uh, what does the text say? <laughs> wait, 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 that. Does that say pure body? It's a Suicune. <laughs> it's a Suicune because Suicune sucks. It's like a promo Suicune <laughs> from like some Skyridge e reader set. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say Starmie. Starmie. This is a bad guess. Unfortunately, it is. Oh! <laughs> that one also oh! has a beak. <laughs> yeah, it's butt ugly. It's it's my... It is the box topper, sweet <laughs> It was the inspiration for Raging Bolt. Look at that neck. Why'd you let me go first? <laughs> yeah, he already has the advantage. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think at some point we need to give him a double point multiplier. <laughs> like right now? 
<laughs> I think now would be a good time. <laughs> four questions, and maybe if he gets his next one right and I don't get it, he gets double points. We'll, we'll see. We'll see? We'll see. Okay, uh, Pokédex for six. Oh, I thought you were just gonna go back to one. <laughs> <laughs> it runs better than it flies. It takes off into the sky by running at a uh, speed of 25 miles per hour. It's either Doduo or Dodrio. The question is, which one's faster is... Better than it flies? I don't think Do- I think Dodrio's faster. I'm gonna say Doduo. But he doesn't have any wings. Don't care. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Muff, what about you? I would have Butterfly. wanted to say that, but... Think, think outside the box. Let's see. You could say Dodrio. I always said Dodrio. <coughs> better than it flies. I would choose something else. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hey, you were complaining about steamrolling, so I'm just giving a helpful hint here. Fair enough. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> the different birds. <laughs> uh, birds that run? What if it's not a bird? What runs? <laughs> that would be such a funny pun. Hitmonlee! It's Hitmonlee! <laughs> Hitmonlee runs no, better than it your flies. Guess. Really? <laughs> Those spring legs, dude. Don't tell me that thing won't get airtime. Is it Archeops? Guess who got it right? No it's Archeops! <laughs> Archeops can actually run 25 miles per hour. Yeah. I, I just was Arche like, I think Archeops isn't good at flying, so... You're not wrong. I think in the game it has like a base speed of 125 or something. Guess, so, wait, guess, if you do the math, does that mean every 25 points of base speed you have in the games equal 5 miles per hour? <laughs> um, let's not, not think sure about it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we can figure out, let's do some Pokemon math. Electro's got a base speed of 140 divided by 25. It's like 29 miles per hour. Wow, that seems like a cruising in a normal <laughs> city lane. It's nice okay, miles guess per hour, you get to choose the category now, Mr. Mike. I get a go. You get a turn. Oh. He's going to stun lock me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fair. Okay, who's that Pokemon for one? <laughs> who's that Pokemon? Oh. I would have to guess Pikachu. Do you have any guess Pika. either? No, it's Electro. It's Pikachu. I was just waiting for it to be Pikachu or something. And be wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Really? Did, did you blur out the text of the speedball attack? Nope. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So speedball the whole time said if Pikachu evolved from Pikachu during yeah. this whole turn. The fact that I didn't even see this. I just saw Pika Punch. Yeah, yeah you left it there the whole time. On purpose. <laughs> it was supposed uh, to be easy. <laughs> why are you complaining? You had Tapu whatever in the attack. That is it's true. An that type. was a free. Was that? How much was that one? That was one only point. One. Okay, good. Good. I was like, if that was worth more than one point, I, gave, I made the one points pretty gimme. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Mister. I took three one points right off the bat. I went straight to who's that Pokemon and guess sweet. But Pokedex so for one. Pure body. Pokedex for one. If it says the Pokemon, despite name, its small size, it can zap even adult humans. However, if it does so, it also surprises itself. I gotta guess. Oh no. <laughs> why? See, this is why I didn't pick Pokédex. <laughs> this is such an evil category because it this is, is never safe. However, I, I thought this one was a little bit easier than the other ones. I gotta I gotta guess, but it's you gotta guess first. See, the small size makes me think Joltik, but I don't think so because it says it surprises itself. I'm gonna guess Pichu. Dang it, I was gonna guess Pichu. I'm gonna guess Joltik, out of spite. It's Pichu. Dang it! <laughs> That is not surprising, though. I'm pretty sure I've heard that song before. Let's do what he doing for three. For three. Yeah, I like this guy. What he doing? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta guess. Um, there is a sign. Um, There's a sign off for context. No. It just shows him breathing fire. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If I look at the description. <laughs> it's spicy. It's stimulating its brain. Um... It looks like the redhead's yelling at the green head to me, and also lighting him on fire. Okay, so that's your guess? Yeah, he's so, bickering with himself. I was gonna say, he's getting burned alive. But also, like, he's stimulating the mind? Okay. According to the, the description it's on the card? Guesses. He's cooking. <laughs> you were kind of close, is, Aether. Do you want to count it or get no, a half that point? Doesn't count, not that close. doesn't count. No, he's getting okay. burned alive, and he cooking is two very different things. <laughs> <laughs> what he doing for two? Okay. What are you doing? Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say he's pouring tea. Wrong. He's pouring coffee. It's black. Brown or black mean... tea. <laughs> <laughs> he's pan pouring. 
Yeah, I think so. This is just, oh, God. Okay. The first ones, he's breaking a tree, and then the others are just puns. <laughs> he's <laughs> the point. Uh, I think he was close enough that he gets that. What, half a point in the sheer No, he got No, first. he doesn't get any points. <laughs> <laughs> we both go down. <laughs> we both go down. Now he's winning. I actually have to try for hours. Who's that Pokemon for yep. five? Who's that Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> oh, I got it. Freebie. I'm gonna say Mewtwo. Yeah, it's 100% Mewtwo. It's number 150. <laughs> and it's a genetic True. Pokemon. There you go. It's Mewtwo. You, you, oh, you there's blur... Pokédex numbers? Yeah, it said number 150, the genetic Pokemon. <laughs> I forgot Pokemon. about that. The height is 6 feet and 7 inches. I did get rid of the I didn't look at that. Pokedex. I was like, it has Cybern, it has genetic Pokemon, and yeah. it doesn't have the retreat cost of a Mew. <laughs> How much True. was that one worth? Five? Five? And you gave the Pokédex number being 150? <laughs> Oops. <Okay>. Oops! <laughs> I'm being played! <laughs> or four. Pokedex five? Or five. Poke oh, Pokedex. Oh, crap. It's ring and antenna. I don't cope well with moisture. After a rain. Quote, that was literally what it said. It faces somewhere to dry off. I feel like they ran out of characters. I'll just script of the cards. <laughs> After and it rains. Oh, I'm like, nope, we gotta save three characters here. <laughs> After a rain. <laughs> I'm gonna say Venomoth. Butterfree. <laughs> How about Masquerade? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count as antenna, right? It's, Those are its little. It has it's a antenna. water skeeter beforehand. It's antenna. It has one. You mean the little unicorn? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the antenna. That's what it says. Look, look. It doesn't matter if it gave us the spitting description of Masquerade. Ain't no one remember that Pokemon <laughs> exists. Yeah, let's do name that price for six. Which for it is the most expensive and which one's the cheapest? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> hmm. The funny thing is, I remember actually buying two of the three furrets here. Um, I'm gonna actually say that Heart Gold Soul Silver is worth the most. And the one that's the cheapest, I'm gonna say is Platinum. My guess is that the middle one's the most expensive, because that's the EXR car, that'd be the oldest. And my guess for cheapest would actually be the Heart Gold Soul Silver. Now, you want us to give us, you want us to give prices? If you want extra points. Talking like a regular art, or are you talking reverse hollow art? These are all normal. Okay. I'll just guess the most expensive one is like five bucks. I'm gonna guess the middle one's most expensive, like 250, if even that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. So he got the most expensive one. Yeah. Right? He got half of it, right? <laughs> it was... He got half of it, so we'll give him. But none of us were close to the guessing. We'll give him like two points. It was worth how many points? Five? Actually, it was worth six. So I think he might need a handicap. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. No. Like I've been trying to throw. You've been you for were... like three turns. Now. <laughs> 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 no one's gonna get the Pokédex ones. Okay. So we Pokedex got the first two. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be super obvious, isn't it? It makes a nest to suit its long and skinny body. Oh. Is that nest is impossible for other Pokemon to enter? Impossible. Impossible. How is it impossible? How skinny is it? See, it's that second part that's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, you know how big a Joltik is? Like, is? <laughs> yeah, there's lots of long and skinny Pokemon, but... How skinny does it have to be in order for nothing else to enter it? Because, like, Joltik's like three inches. Um, I'm gonna say it is, uh, Wiggling. I wanna, I was, my gut was originally saying fur it, but the second part's making me think, I was thinking Wiglet, right? But then I realized Wugtrio actually has a little nest on it, so I'm saying Wugtrio. Um, eagle-eyed viewers, the way it knows that this was on the card for the last one. It is indeed fur it. Huh. Do you know how fat that is? It looks like seven feet long. <laughs> yeah, nothing can fit into that nest. So that what about, I don't know, a centric? For for two. <laughs> nothing can fit in that nest except for literally anything that's under Unless seven it... feet long. A human could fit in the nest. Does a fur just like put booby traps all across <laughs> the nest? Like there's a flamethrower by the entrance and like a little bear trap and... Yeah, the nest is impossible to enter as far as rock with some crazy protective gear. Okay. okay Where do you want to go now? Uh, let's go attack name for six. <laughs> I'm really trying to throw. <laughs> Invisible hand! Oh, <laughs> any of your this. opponents, active Pokemon or evolved Pokemon. Search your deck for any one card and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. 
So, psychic. Uh, <laughs> well, which one? Um, it's not a basic, I can tell you and that. And it's one color that's to attack. It's such a weird attack. <laughs> that's why it's number six. And it's definitely not being played because I remember reading this attack once when searching through a bunch of cards, and that's probably it. I'm just going to say Kadabra. I know there's not many cards in Kadabra, <laughs> and that's kind get, of why. If you get that, that is <laughs> such a flex. Invisible hand. Like, the hand makes me think Mr. Mime, but I know Mr. Mime's rocking that thing, because if there was, you might actually see some play in GLC. <laughs> What's got hands is an evolved psychic type that's not Alakazam. Do you have a better idea than Kadabra? It's not Dusk nor. Oh. He has hands. He does have hands, and it could be invisible though. Sure, Dust Nora. How about Nose Pass? <laughs> Why is he rock type? <laughs> no. Why does he. He's supposed to be psychic. Do those if he has some rock psychic things? type yeah, moves. <laughs> oh, One of my thought yeah. processes was he's not actually have having hands. hands. Yeah. Oh, I guess he's like magnetic and stuff, so maybe yeah, he's, he's using invisible. magnetic powers. Yep. They should have said nose. They should have said invisible nose. <laughs> <laughs> he sniffs out the car <laughs> from the deck. <laughs> So that is the example of the extremes, the top of Coco GX, GX attack and invisible hand. Wow, you got a rage here. <laughs> yes, we do. Let's go name that price too. Which one is more expensive and which one's the cheapest? Wow. I think everyone knows which is the most expensive. I'm gonna say that the most expensive is Charizard at like $35 now. And I'm gonna say Venusaur is the cheapest. It's it's the same. I think Charizard's the most expensive, Venusaur's the cheapest. I think oh, the yeah. Venusaur is like... I never said Venusaur price. But yeah, you want to give a price for Venusaur? Um, five bucks. Yeah, I say the, I say the Venusaur is around four, roughly. It's probably close to five, yeah. The Zard, though, I think is only around 20. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey! Wait, so. did you guess 35 for the Zard? I think so. And I guessed 26. Not 26, I guess 20. <laughs> you guessed exactly 26.4. Guess, wait a second, let me see if I can just cheat a little. So you're closer on the Venusaur, but I was closer on the Zard. Yeah, and I think the Zard's more important. Do you want to just say <laughs> Tide? Since it's a Tide, we get a coin flip. Um, Rock, Paper, Scissors. For those who can't tell, we have stalemated a rock <laughs> five times in a row. Six? <laughs> we both switched on number seven to paper, <laughs> and then on number eight I switched scissors. He went back to rock, and he won. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, which one do you want? Whoa, that's hard. What he doing it? for four? No. What he doing for four? Now we know it's a what, pun what, category. One, other one, other one, other one. No, what he doing? Oh, what he doing? <laughs> Definition, definition, definition. Uh, <laughs> he's angry. And he's chasing something. See, the problem is, going off of two and three, it has to be a pun. And so, he's running on fumes, I'm gonna say. Oh, that one's good. I'm guessing it's not the answer. <laughs> uh, uh, the attack says tantrum. So, temper tantrum? He coming for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's fuming mad, and he's running. And, and it's a pun! He's but running on fumes! <laughs> he's asking what he's doing, he's coming for you. Oh, do you want to give points out for that? I don't, I don't think Adam got that. Okay. No, if we do not get your thought process. <laughs> no. My thought process is, is very sad. If, if he also, stops was us, the first she, one she got just he's breaking a tree? Yeah, and then all the others are just. Okay. <laughs> There's a red herring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Notice how he's avoided the attack names. Oh! Yeah! Because I don't know attack names! Like a coward! <laughs> he knows the second he goes there, okay, attack will be name five. Uh -huh. Ooh, Guess I'm like like successful. Aura Sphere! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is for five. It could be a fighting type Mewtwo. There are no fighting type Mewtwo's. Delta Species. Had no fighting type Mewtwo's. There's only are a lightning. Are sure? Yeah, there's a lightning and there's a fire metal one. So what is your guess? Uh, I'd have to say Lucario. Uh, incorrect. I knew it. This was a debate. <laughs> it's I'm a big like, giant it's debate. It's not Lucario. It's this is the one. It's, it's is it fighting Mian type Shao, the evolved one. The cat. It's fairy energy. All right, yeah, and you understand that the fairy energy cost isn't F. It's Y. Oh. 
I know, but... Misdirection! Dude. Misdirection! <laughs> you know, the fact that the attack only did 70 damage should have told us that was from a really terrible card. <laughs> okay, where are we going next, guys? So, uh, I think I'm going to go to 4 for attack name. Oh. I think you're really trying to throw here. Yeah. A raging Cannon, 100 plus. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to go with Slacking. Okay. I hear Cannon and I think Genesect, but not a single Genesect has an attack that decent. My guess is the reason it's how the scene plays is because it's on like a fossil Pokemon, so I'm gonna say Tyrantrum. It's Drampa. He angry. He's about going. this uh, <laughs> attack name that you're supposed to be so good at. <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting it either. Yeah, but I'm trying to throw here, <laughs> and you're not taking it. Attack name three. Uh, Tongue NATO. Flip four coins. Seventy damage for each heads. Uh, licky licky. Dang it. <laughs> Uh, lick a tongue. Is yeah, <laughs> there was no way it wasn't licky licky. Why did this go from like something that was super obvious <laughs> to something that was insanely <laughs> difficult? You gotta oh, have the difficulty spikes somewhere. The difficulty <laughs> spikes be everywhere. What he doing six? What he doing? He is eating the railroad. Wait a second. No, no. You, <laughs> you do weird things for all of them. <laughs> if you go back for number six. He's on the right track. I was going to say, he's derailing Mermuff's win streak. I mean, he is sabotaging. Oh, no. <laughs> does that count? Oh, no. I think does that, that counts. Count? Oh. <laughs> oh, we back, baby. Which category would you like? Who's that Pokemon for four? Delta Species Snorlax. Go. <laughs> Oops. You yeah, that wrong. <laughs> Delta Species Snorlax. The only Pokemon has got two of these things. Plus, it puts itself to sleep. He's correct. It's yeah, awesome. that was that was for you. Points. The comeback. This is much closer than it I've has to be. I've only been throwing half the <laughs> game. <laughs> what would you do if you weren't throwing? Take the easy one. I'll take attack name for two. Spark Duo. If one of your men had used an attack during your last turn, this attack has a hundred more damage. Yeah, I went 4-0 in a GLC tournament with a Plusle Minute thing. Not this one, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a Plusle. Any objections from the other corner? Um, I'm gonna say it is the Full Art Plusle. Oh, the Rapid strike. strike. To be fair, I probably would have guessed Minim for some reason. Because <laughs> it said it on the attack. And so if I had chosen that one earlier, I probably would have threw it. <laughs> Board is looking pretty sparse. Where Maybe are we going that price next? for three. This is Hollow Edition. Ooh. All of these cards are the Hollow price. Which one's the most expensive and which one's the cheapest? The cheapest is definitely the one on the right, because that's from the classic collection of Blastoise. The most expensive, you know, as much as I wish I could say it's the Dragon's Exalted Super on the left, the fact that the Trainer's League things have been kind of crazy recently, I'm going to say it's the middle one. I would say the price of the middle Hollow Super Rod's like seven bucks, and the price of the Super Rod all the way on the right's like. 40 cents, if not like 25 cents. I'm gonna say that the most expensive one is also the metal one. And I'm gonna say that the cheapest one is actually the left one. The middle one, I'm gonna say, is like. <laughs> Sorry. What did you say? I was sneezing. No, what did you say? Oh, the middle for the middle one? one? I said yeah. $7 for the middle one. Okay, and for five. The right. <laughs> five? <laughs> five, okay. and for. Oh, I never get one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're wrong. I'll put 10 for the right one. Those, these are the average market price. Jeez. Dude, I have one of those left super rods. Yeah! <laughs> I yeah, I thought I had that one too. So. And that price for four. Which one of these beautiful arts is the most expensive and which one is the cheapest? Far right's the most expensive because Tana Mouse is getting played competitively, I guess. And the middle one's the cheapest, even though it's the prettiest. Uh, Mousehole on the right is probably like seven dollars. And Meryl in the middle is probably like two bucks. I didn't know Mousehold was being competitively played. So Why is it being competitively played? Look at that card, it's trash. Oh, that Mousehold. No, I'm thinking about... Oh, it's a stage one? Yeah. Uh, well, I was thinking... No, I was thinking... Oh, I was thinking about Chinchina. Well, it's my turn. Oh! So... Oops. <laughs> so, it, the Dunsparce is going to be the most expensive one because uh -oh. I'm a boy. <laughs> and he's going to be around, like, eight bucks. And then I'm going to say that... Mousehole is the cheapest, is really? and I'm gonna say oh, he'd be like that's weird. four bucks. <clears throat> no, so, so <laughs> accident. 
For seeing that mouse hole will be the competitive and the meta in one year. Is the cheapest. I've never understood the mouse hole love. I got the thing right, but I was totally off on the prices. Okay, where do you want to go next, Aether? Hmm, let's go to Pokédex for three. <laughs> its magical and cute appeal has many admirers. It is rare and found only in certain areas. Uh, Ralts. So I don't necessarily agree with what I'm about to say. Oh. I'm gonna say Gothita. <laughs> is that the little one? <laughs> uh, that was my fairy. first guess! <laughs> you were gonna say Clefairy, and you I chose Gothita. I was gonna Gothita. say Clefairy, but I was like, oh. no, it's probably something we wouldn't not expect. Only, not only did you throw away the points, but you also it's threw away your dignity. It's only for three! <laughs> yeah. Pokédex for four, get it out of the way. <laughs> it is believed to put, bring misfortune to all those who see it at night. Mm -hmm. That's giving me Murkrow vibes, but I mean, Purloin's also a thing. So I'm gonna say Murkrow. I don't know, I'm just gonna go Absol. It's Murkrow! Oh, it is Murkrow! It yeah. is Murkrow! You know what's a category I'm never gonna get on this? Uh -oh. I'll make things a little interesting here. What he doing for five? <laughs> oh no! Because we don't know what Eon be doing with this category. What he doing? Oh, 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 I got this. I got this. What's the intro to Avatar go like again? There's peace in all nations until the King Gambit nation attacked. That's my answer. Final answer. Send it. He chilling. He do be vibing. He leading a cult. Is the Fire Nation council? No. <laughs> <laughs> we have three categories left. Where do you want to go, Ether? I'm gonna say the biggest one for last. Who's that Pokemon for three? Who's that Pokemon? Poochyana. Mighty Anna. <laughs> it's got 60 HP. It's a Poochyana. I saw a Team Aqua say, I'm like, whoa, that was free. It could have been a Shark Beetle or Oh, I didn't look at the HP. It <laughs> had Roar as an attack. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who's that Pokemon for two? Who's that Pokemon? Uh, Haxorus. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> um, let's see. There's only so many stage two dragons. Yeah, what Pokemon I know, has a dragon? But it's already it's taken, so. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, name that price. I'll give him first guess. He gets triple points if he gets it. But he has to be within one dollar. This is my least favorite category. <laughs> he has to be within one dollar of it. Oh, this was number six. Well, I, I win? I can't remember. Wait. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay. It's a Pikachu. Okay, am I allowed to tell what I saw to make it even? Yeah. Sure. So I saw that the right one was the most expensive, but I didn't see how much. How is that one the most expensive? <laughs> Don't know. It's older, I guess. And hollow. So the most is the right one. I'm going to say it's like $16. Uh, the one. cheapest is the left one. And I'm going to say 7 bucks. Yeah, so I'm going to say cheapest is left, and I'm going to say about 8 bucks. Most expensive is the right at like 18 bucks. Oh. Wait, these are all like 60 bucks? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy cow! The middle one's the best by far. The one on the right, so that's not grumpy. a- Is the one on the right hollow or is it just a non-hollow? It's a hollow. Okay. Oh, I was yeah. worried I saw the price. And, no I didn't. Oh, I was trying to connect. Oh no! The Wi-Fi! Ah! I think they called it tie. I will have a picture showing the final results. So yeah, it's a tie. Congratulations! No. Good game. <laughs> it was close, and it. I guess we'll us have to do time. this another time. <laughs> no, that the part you were winning was the part you were trying to throw at. Oh well, that was my scuffed game show. Thanks for being on. Uh -oh. If we ever do this fun. again, it will be uh, probably less scuffed. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.